Welcome everyone to my how-to video on performing assignment 7009. So this video is the overview um, and this assignment is fairly larger um, and so there will be quite a few other videos on this one um, and I'll try to break them up into smaller pieces for you. All right, so um, here we are in the course Moodle, and so assignment 7009 is actually supposed to, uh, based off of the schedule, be performed in week five for the most part. Um, however, if you take a look at our deadlines over here on the right-hand side, you will see that um, assignment 7009, which is a SWOT report, overlaps with our group projects a little bit. So that basically means that you'll be working on two assignments at the same time, um, both of them fairly um, time consuming. And so um, usually I like to put the material, the supporting materials in order of what I think would make sense to do them and when. However, I'm not going to do that this time. Instead, I'm just going to put all of the, the supporting materials for 7009 right underneath where you submit the first part. So there are four parts to this assignment um, that you'll be submitting uh, separately, so four different submissions. So I'm just going to put all of 7009 materials right underneath the first submission for part A. Um, that way you can decide when you want to perform the different parts. Um, I might even recommend that you begin working on 7009 during week four, basically uh, during the first week of July, just because it requires quite a bit of research um, and it, it'll probably be easier to do uh, start working on this a little earlier than trying to start it and complete it at the same time that you're starting and completing other projects. Okay, so that's my um, my advice. It it is pretty um, uh, time consuming to work on this project because there's a lot of research. All right. So let's get started. Let's figure out what this is all about. So uh, under week five, it, if you click on any of the 7009 links here in the overview of the week, um, it'll open up the assignment prompt for you. Um, so here it is. And so this is inside the wiki. Um, and basically, you've been assigned by Alex Nostrovia, our pretend boss in this scenario, um, to create a sample of a SWOT report. Um, so basically your boss is um, starting to graduate you onto real projects, but he wants you to um, create a, a trial run first. And so basically in this trial run, you're supposed to pretend that a pretend client, Mrs. DiMaggio, hired you to create a SWOT report on her business for which she is an absentee owner. So this may be a little confusing for your assignments because um, many of your businesses have real owners. Um, and so let's just pretend that Mrs. DiMaggio is say um, like the silent stakeholder behind the business and whoever, if, if it's a, a locally owned business, um, you'll definitely wanna research the real owners and, and maybe address that as a strength or weakness depending on how well they run it. Um, so that, that's my explanation for this part here. Um, you will need to create one document for Mrs. DiMaggio, um, but beyond that for your actual primary research, do research the actual owners and use that information if it's helpful for making a point. Um, okay, so there are four parts to this assignment. Um, all of them you will submit separately. All of them require their own title page. Um, and I know that this may be confusing because it, it labels the different parts of the assignment child. Um, it's using a metaphor here. All this means is just part A, part B, part C, part D. Um, so in part A, you're basically planning out your project. So remember all that work we did in the project workflow diagram? This is basically where it starts to pay off. Um, you're going to have to create um, a plan for how to complete this assignment um, and a schedule of deliverables, um, which I will go into further detail on for both of those. But basically for your plan, the thing I'm going to emphasize that you focus on is figuring out, identifying um, research. So uh, basically going through the research challenge. Um, what will you uh, plan on going and finding? Um, where will that be useful? And what point will that be used to make? 
basically planning that out. Um, how are the different ways that you could obtain the information you need and then planning out how you'll go about that. Um, but I'll, I'll have another video on part A later. So basically part A is just planning out how you're going to get the rest of this project done. Um, part B, um, very quickly, um, kind of like with the job application letter, has you do a nearly complete draft of your SWOT report. Like I said, the, this report can be fairly lengthy um, or labor intensive. So it's okay if um, for part B, your draft is not yet complete, but I can say that the more complete the draft is, the better advice you're going to be getting back from your peers and from me when I evaluate this. Um, so as complete as possible draft and a peer response request memo uh, that you will send to two peers. So you will submit part B to me with a title page, uh, submit it to Moodle, and you will also email this to two classmates asking for peer review advice. Okay, once that's done, so you should be receiving two peer review requests, um, and then in part C, you should respond to those requests. Um, again, in memo form. So again, you'll submit part C to me in Moodle, like normal, with a title page, but you should also reply to your classmates and email these uh, peer review reply memos back to them so that they can get peer review advice. And then finally, once you get your peer review advice back, you should revise your SWOT report and make it pretty and client ready. Um, and you should also create a cover letter. Um, and this is what you would be creating for Mrs. DiMaggio, a cover letter. So basically a business letter to cover your SWOT report so that you have a nice ready package. Um, so I'll be going over um, each of these parts in detail, but just so that you know what's at the core of this assignment is a SWOT report, which stands for Strengths, Weaknesses, Opportunities, and Threats Report. So you will be writing this about a small local business, um, very similar to the um, initial report that you did on a small local business. It's okay with me if you write the SWOT report on the same business or a different one. It is entirely up to you. Um, you should probably pick a business that you actually like or are interested in um, and one that has at least some online information about it because if it doesn't have any online information about it, it's going to be really difficult to do your research. Um, I would also highly advise you to avoid large chains, large national or international chains, because basically a large international chain like, say, Dairy Queen or Walmart would not need a group like MCG to do this report. They would do it internally. Um, also, they probably already have a bunch of SWAT reports out there. Um, so I want you to pick a business that is more local to you, um, somewhat smaller. It's okay if they have a few chains. So Espresso Royale in Champaign, Illinois is a perfect example. It has a few chains in a couple of different cities uh, in the Midwest. That's okay. It's not too big. All right. So that's basically the assignments. Um, again, you are working on this assignment at the same time as a couple of others. So the earlier you can get started on it, the better. Um, so four assignments, it's broken up into four parts that you will submit individually, um, and two of those you will need to actually email between classmates, and that's parts B and C. All right, so I look forward to seeing your research, um, and if you have any questions, you can bring those to our virtual classroom or email me. Good luck.